the blue and white perfection of these unspoiled beaches washed by a clear sea is reminiscent of the skies painted by Baroque masters. Does this paradise continue below the water's surface? A school of angelfish goes about its business, in which people play no part. Bertrand Sion and his companions glide through great granite boulders which bristle with scarlet gorgonians and pink alcyonarian corals. These cracks and crevices are secret passages leading to an enchanted underwater palace. Introducing the story's magician, the leopard shark. It is sheathed in brown speckled skin like the feline whose name, grace, and power it shares. Because it is striped as a juvenile, it is also known as the zebra shark. Its cousins are the carpet shark and nurse shark. A harmless animal, it spends its time close to the bottom in the company of its associates, the Remoras, which use it as an underwater taxi. The divers bounce down the rocky slope. They find themselves in the center of a nebula. The whirling stars that surround them are young fish. Tens of thousands of them, only a few weeks old. They overrun the crevices and caves, pressing close even in the open water. By clustering, they are more likely to escape predators. The school rises, falls, and maneuvers as if it were a single organism controlled by a central brain. Like the divers, the long-spined lionfish appreciate the school of hatchlings, although for other reasons. Their hiding places, they attempt to gulp down the passing fish. These fish common to the reefs are also called turkey fish. They usually lead a solitary existence, 
The Cousteau divers have never seen so many together. At first a galaxy, then a comet. A jellyfish, throbbing in the blue water, trails behind it a tail of stinging tentacles. Pine cone fish follows in its wake, immune to its venom and sheltered from predators by this chemical shield. At the decompression stops, the divers are free to muse upon what they've seen. The waters of the Similan Islands are crystalline and pure. They are teeming with invertebrates. On the other hand, they do seem oddly lacking in market-sized fish. <laughs> 